So you may be surprised to hear this, but veterinarians are concerned about the impact of legal marijuana. Why? Well, if your cat or dog gets into a stash of weed, it can definitely be harmful for them. News 12 New Jersey's Chris Keating is live to explain this further. Chris? Brittany, it's called marijuana toxicosis, and it takes place anytime an animal ingests or even inhales marijuana. It is not at all good for the family pet, which is why veterinarians all around New Jersey are right now urging those who are using legal weed to be very careful. Legalized marijuana and pets do not mix. So says Dr. Ted Spinks, who runs the Animal Hospital of Sussex County and has seen an average of three to four cases of marijuana toxicosis per year. Dogs are curious, cats are curious, and, and they'd eat it. There's no liver toxicity or kidney toxicity, um, but the symptoms could last 96 hours. Dr. Spink says pets will eat the leafy buds, but have been known to go after easily ingested edibles and THC butters and oils. If you're concerned that your dog or cat might be sick, look for the signs and symptoms. Does your pet have dilated pupils, loss of balance, or incontinence, mainly urination? It's especially important for new users of marijuana to recognize that animals can suffer from inhalation. The doctor says never blow smoke into an animal's face. Don't be childish because they could get secondhand smoke. So give them a well ventilated area. One aspect that legalization may help with is honesty from pet owners who prior to this new law wouldn't come out and say the dog ate my stash of weed. Before legalization, it was a little tricky. Um, they wouldn't admit to the fact that they had um, cannabis in their homes. However, recently he did have a case where a pet owner readily admitted they had bought marijuana legally, making diagnosis and treatment much easier. So Chris, the big question now is if this does actually happen to someone's pet, what should they do? And Brittany, the doctor says if you actually see the dog or the cat ingest the marijuana, you have 30 minutes to induce vomiting. Otherwise, as always, if you have questions or concerns, immediately contact your own vet. Brittany. Very good to know, Chris. Thank you.